Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. Screen captures not only a great way to boost the quality of your videos, but they're also an awesome aid for teaching your audience and demonstrating exactly what you're talking about in your videos. They allow you to step your viewers through a specific process or procedure so they can follow along and learn exactly how you do it. We've found this to be the best way to teach new concepts or how-tos. Even if you're not teaching something that can be demonstrated on screen, they're a great way for creating B-roll footage, so things like websites, products, news articles, you name it. And the best part is they're really easy to do. There's just a few tips to help you get the best results. So here's what you need to know. Number one, software. Now there's a heap of options for both Mac and PC, but the software that I use is ScreenFlow on Mac and I use Cyberlink Power Director on PC. Number two, settings. For best results, it's important to capture at a screen resolution that's higher than the output resolution of your video. So this allows you to zoom in and zoom out on your final recording to focus in on relevant areas of the screen or smaller items that need to be made bigger. So if you're gonna be outputting your video at 1080p, then try to capture your screen at a higher resolution. So this is where most people fall down in the process. The default output resolution for most capture software is the default screen resolution. But a lot of people don't actually have that set to the maximum or the optimal display resolution for their screen. So how do you get high resolution? Simple, use a high resolution screen. Heaps of laptops these days comes with retina displays or UHD screens, which have resolutions much higher than 1080. This will allow you to zoom in after recording your screen capture to save you time zooming in and out while you're recording, allowing you to create the content quicker with less distractions. It also gives you the flexibility to stay full screen if you want. Number three, visual markers. If you're showing a walkthrough, then make sure you emphasize where you're clicking, especially for smaller icons or settings. You can do this by turning on click markers or zooming in on important areas of the screen as you're clicking. If you're gonna be using any keyboard shortcuts, then make sure you show them on screen instead of just mentioning them. It's much easier for your viewers to recognize and remember that way. When you're recording your screen capture, make every movement deliberate and clear for your users. Some people move the mouse around a lot unnecessarily when they're talking and it's distracting for your viewers. And it can make it less clear what you're doing and the exact process that's needed to follow. So keep your clicks and your movement to a minimum and explain everything that you're doing. That's it, you've now got everything you need to start getting out there and creating some awesome screen captures. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share and a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that big subscribe button. If you haven't downloaded it yet, make sure you grab our free guide running through the most efficient step-by-step -step process for editing your videos. It's the ultimate process for creating your videos faster without all the unnecessary rework and double handling that I've seen chew up a ton of time for my clients and students over the years. Just hit the link inside this video or below in the description and download it now. We'll see you soon.